ladies, welcome to my channel. I'm Yulia and I'm your virtual beauty therapist. I have been beauty therapist for over 10 years now, so this is my job and this is my passion as well because I love skincare. Now, today we're going to chat about a 20 skincare and I'll be 34 this summer, so been there, than this. There's definitely a few mistakes that I will try to avoid now with my brain and quite a few people that I spoke with that actually kind of did the same things. So I created this video in order to help you understand what is essential, what you can do and what you shouldn't be doing in your skincare in your 20s. To be honest with you, usually uh, the skincare in the 20s, especially the early 20s, is a complete mess. <laughs> if you're a man, very likely your skincare routine will be your 3-in-1 shower, face wash and um, shampoo. So just not existing kind of a skincare. And this might work for you because you're 20, but that doesn't mean that it will always work. And uh, there's definitely much for you to improve. So if you're in your 20s, whether male or female, I think this video will be quite useful for you. Now, usually when we're looking into skincare, I will see three different types and ways that people are behaving and think about their skincare. Bare minimal type of skincare will be a cleanser, moisturizer and SPF. I do think this is very, very essential. So if you want to not use excessive type of skincare, can't be bothered, don't care, don't have the resources, don't have the time, then definitely do invest into those ones. Now the second type of people usually are kind of the moderate one. So they will have a moisturizer, SPF and cleanser, but they might add a serum with antioxidants for the day and maybe hyaluronic acid for the evening. So this is the moderate approach and this was really me, <laughs> to be honest with you. I, although I worked in beauty, I never had facials, to be honest with you. It's like once a year, sometimes even less. And I started having a few more probably in the end of my 20s and I had a few chemical pills. I actually had Botox as well. Although I did it for my migraine, but that's a whole nother story, let's not lie, it was for my forehead wrinkles as well. My point is that for the majority of my 20s, this was me. And then you have the third type of people, and these are the ones that will use treatments and facials and lasers and botox and advanced treatments and whatever active you can think about. Um, if I look back, I'll say probably I'll do the same thing, but I will add retinol into my skincare. So you have to try to understand how your skin is working. What is your skin type? So this is very important. You have to see what is your skin type and your skin condition. You have types which are um, oily, combination and dry. And they, if they do change, they are very gradually, usually they might be related with hormonal changes as well. And then you have skin conditions like uh, pigmentation, dehydration, in some cases sensitivity might be just sensitized skin from something uh, rather than sensitive all the time towards most of the things that you might use. So you have to understand the issues that you have, think about them, what is most important for you and start to address them one by one. And a big one, you don't have normal skin. <laughs> normal skin doesn't really exist after your teenage years and this is a big one I have to highlight it. The reason why a lot of people say they have normal skin is because they just don't know how to determine what is their skin type and if you don't know what you are targeting obviously your skincare routine will be also messed. So what are the necessary steps? First one is double cleansing. It is essential to be double cleansing in the evening because of your SPF, because your makeup, because of the pollution, because of the environment that we live in. So I always say try to use something which is um, oil or a balm as a first cleanser. Even if your skin is oily, do not be afraid of it because you will wash it off and oil is going to remove oil. Your foundation very likely is oil based your SPF as well. 
So you want to remove the excessive oil also of your skin if your skin is oily. And that's why using something like oil or balm would be a great idea. If your skin is dry, your second cleanser might be something creamy. Recently I finally found the gel wash which I like. Uh, which is the Purit one. If you haven't checked this video of mine, go go ahead and check it out. There's a few quite great products, uh, very budget friendly and definitely suitable for someone in their 20s. But let's go back on the necessary steps. So if you want to use a gel cleanser or a foam, just check out what is the ingredients list and try not to use something too dry for your skin so that it doesn't get irritated. Squeaky clean is not healthy clean. Definitely it is very essential to use SPF during the day, not from point of view only of uh, prevention of skin cancer, but also because if you think about pigmentation and acne and sensitivity and dryness and aging, all of this can be reduced simply by using SPF. Moisturizing doesn't necessarily mean something super rich, super occlusive. I'm not talking about Vaseline and slugging if your skin is oily. Now we are looking for something that will be gentle with occlusives, with ingredients that will give you some hydration but also will improve the skin barrier, especially if you're someone who suffers from acne and use a lot of treatments, whether um, your acids or your retinol, maybe some prescription as well. They might be very dehydrating, drying, sensitizing for the skin. So applying moisturizer is definitely a must. When we are looking into specific ingredients, obviously you have humectants, which are great for everyone. So things like glycerin. I'm aware a lot of people now don't like hyaluronic acid. So that's why I'm saying glycerin, but hyaluronic acid as well. If it is used wisely, then definitely can be something very beneficial for your skin whether you're 20 or you're 50. I will add in the description box this video that I did about hyaluronic acid and how you can benefit from it without irritating your skin. Antioxidants, you have so many different options from your vitamin C, from um, plant ingredients like licorice, like green tea, also niacinamide, uh, berries, all of those are antioxidants, um, as well as Q10, pycnogenol, and so, so many others. I think they are great and they will improve your SPF so you can cleanse, apply your antioxidant serum and then your SPF if your skin is oily or if it's dry, you can add on as well moisturizer between your serum and your SPF. As I already mentioned, vitamin A is something that I started to use, if you ask me, late. And if you're in your 20s, do consider using. Vitamin A is going to boost the production of collagen and elastin. It works for acne, it works for pigmentation. You have a lot of different varieties from granactic retinoids, which is newer version of retinol, from just the normal retinol, you have a lot of uh, prescription as well, vitamin A. And this is definitely for me the golden standard, to be honest with you. So I'll say probably you do need to think about retinol. It's not ingredient that you should start when you're 60. <laughs> Actually, retinol started as an um, acne treatment. So even if you're 18, you're, you can start using a vitamin A salicylic acid. It is exfoliating ingredient, which is oil soluble. So it can go into the pore and remove the excess oil from there as well. So definitely ingredient that you should think about when you are in your 20s, especially if you're still struggling with breakouts. Usually the problem in your 20s then is that you kind of think you're invincible because your body repairs quite quickly, but unfortunately often a lot of the things that you do or you don't will have consequences later on in your life. And lifestyle choices may sound very annoying, but they do affect your skin a lot. So um, you do have to try to sleep enough. Yes, you might be okay partying all night, working all day, but after a while this will start catching up. So for adults, you do have to try to get your seven to nine hours sleep. Smoking, drinking, and going to bed with makeup. This is definitely not something that you should be doing whether you're 20 or 50. Because we drink caffeinated drinks like 
your latte, your coffee or tea and soft drinks and this is not water, you should be drinking plenty of water as well if you want to have nice skin. Mention if your skin is oily and you strip all the oil you will get even more oily because your body will try to produce more oil and you will get also dehydrated because this oil is also protection and it keeps the water within the skin so it's very confusing because your skin feels tight you have acne it gets super shiny so is it dry is it combination or is it oily and very often a lot of people will say that their skin is oily in the summer and dry in the winter and this is really not the case because it means that very likely your skin is getting dehydrated in the winter so if you tweak a little bit your skincare routine you won't have such sensations it's very common to think it's burning, it's working now if you have some kind of experience and knowledge about skincare you might decide that you want to use a few different actives and sometimes this is the issue you are creating this type of environment with too many actives you are mixing them when they are not supposed to be mixed or your skin is not as resilient so by all means can you use alpha hydroxy acids when you're in your 20s yes should you use them with your retinol and your bha and your vitamin c in the same routine no this is not the big shock if you have seen any of my previous videos but wet wipes are your enemy this is not the way to cleanse your face use your miserable water use your makeup remover then you double cleanse but wet wipes just spread everything all over and make a mess of you and especially if you are prone to breakouts this is definitely something that will make your skin much worse as i was saying breakouts if you have any kind of acne pimple pasture comedon milia however you name it think about it do not try to pick the spots don't squeeze them don't use tools watch videos how to do them go and have a facial i think a big mistake is the do-it-yourself type of treatments especially not just in your 20s but in your 20s you kind of like to experiment plus if money are tight then you will try to get good skin but for less so you might go and get yourself some uh, tool to do some micro needling and this is such a bad idea i can't even start to explain this professional treatments are for professional do not try to use something like this at home you're not trained you don't have equipment you don't have knowledge you don't know the safety you don't have the products so no definitely no if we're looking into something like i don't know mixing milk and honey or yogurt or something like this and applying it over the face one time not just for a whole week then yes why not skincare is so advanced that uh, you don't have to spend that much money in order to get some kind of mask but if you want to try something yes if you want to go and use something like vinegar and lemon and essential oils do not do not use something like this you don't know how you're not a chemist it's not safe you can burn yourself you can get such a bad reaction from it seen it treated some just don't do it i think also it might sound quite obvious but still people are doing it sun is not your friend sun batting outside on the beach going to sun baths all of this is going to make your skin so much worse with time and I know very often we tend to think that beautiful is what we don't have so uh, for many Asians to be pale is beautiful for many Westerners uh, to be uh, brown is beautiful so we always go for the wrong reason to get more beautiful so definitely sun is not your friend so you have to try to stay away if you like the golden look then use a self-tanning product you will be much better and much safer but once again everything has to be in a moderate dosage just don't go crazy over something like this you are beautiful who you are and the last mistake that i want to highlight is the fact that even if you do apply your spf you have to continuously reapply it and apply the proper amount because applying a pre-size and just in the morning when you're say outside all day and it's summer is not going to give you any protection and it's completely useless two fingers every two hours 
So if you are in your 20s, the most important thing is to realize what is your skin type, what are your skin concerns, so that you can address those. Use cleanser, use moisturizer and SPF. Just be gentle with your skin and don't think that you can get away with everything. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, please give it a thumbs up, share it, consider subscribing to the channel. You can also find me and follow me on Instagram where I publish a lot of different content about beauty and skincare and giveaways and what bothers me and excites me. So you can find me there as well. Let me know your thoughts about your 20s skincare, whether you are currently in your 20s or you want to share your past experience. Maybe you would advise people to change something like I did. So let me know in the comments below as well. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you next week. Bye bye.